different about the offense with JT, you think, running it? I mean, slightly different, uh, Jeff, from what you've noticed. Uh, you know, I don't know a whole lot. Uh, you know, I know one thing that, you know, we got a lot more playmakers this year, uh, you know, that can make plays with the ball than we have in years past. Uh, you know, we probably got three, four, or five, you know, more playmakers than we did in, in years past, uh, you know, coming into the season. So, uh, you know, we're going to rely on some of them to, you know, make, make a lot of plays. And we're going to have to account for uh, some of the things that, you know, we're not going to have with Braxton out there, you know. You know, it's, it's, you know, it's no secret or anything. He's, you know, probably one of the most explosive players to ever play this game. Yeah. Uh, you know, especially at Ohio State. And uh, so, you know, we're not na naive to that. And, uh, you know, we're going to have to make up gr some ground. Uh, but I think, you know, I think we have the players and the coaching staff where, uh, you know, we can we can do that. So, You've yeah, been in there a little bit with, with JT. You've also watched a little bit, I would think. What stands out about him, do you think, at this point? He's a great leader. Uh, he's super smart. He's a hard worker. And, uh, you know, I think that was – that was the case before this happened. Um, I think everyone looked up to him before uh, this this event even happened. Uh, you know, he was always finishing first in the quarterback runs. Uh, you know, over summer, he's always you know even he was finishing first before the tight ends, the linebackers. You know, he was first at a big skill all the time. And uh, you know, he handles his business and does everything right. And uh, you know, we have you know full confidence in him and full trust. And uh, you know, like I was talking to him the other day. I mean, you know, don't you know you don't have to do anything different. Just be yourself. And, uh, you know, so we're, we're behind him 100 percent. And uh, so we'll go from there. Jeff, when it became clear the severity of this, that you might lose Braxton or that it might be at least a while that he might be out, I just wondered what was the reaction of the team? What did you guys, what were you thinking at that point? What was it like? Was the... um, Yeah, I mean, I was with him when, uh, you know, his shoulder was, uh, you know, was out of place. And, uh, you know, I'd, I'd never seen him like that. You know, he was, he was in pain. And uh, so we kind of we kind of knew right away that it wasn't going to be good. And uh, but you know what, Braxton's a tough kid. Uh, you know anyone that really knows him, you know he's he's been through injuries in the past. He's been through adversity in his life. And uh, you know I think if it's going to happen to anyone. He's probably you know the, the strongest one that can handle it and uh, you know bounce back from it the best. Were so, you uh, in that drill when it happened? No, I was not. Uh, but uh, you know I was in the I was in the tent with him afterwards and. Uh, you know, was right there with him when his you know shoulder was out of place. He probably couldn't even really move very well. Um, so, in Chicago Jeff, a few weeks ago, you uh, kind of set, you made a comparison of what would it be like to lose <laughs> Braxton Miller, and yeah. you said what would it be like for the Cavs to lose LeBron James? Um, that's a, I mean, that's a thing. I, what was it like? I mean, I know that you guys are confident and still want to, you know, compete at a high level. But what is it like, you know, in, in your words, kind of to lose your LeBron? Yeah, uh, you know, like I said, you know, we're not naive to the situation. We understand what, you know, what happened and, uh, you know, what we lost. But uh, it's like the Cavs. I mean, just because, you, know, you know, LeBron's out, you don't, you don't put them out, do you? I mean, they got a lot of other playmakers. And uh, so you know, that's kind of the situation we're in. Uh, you know, we got a lot of playmakers, and we're going to have to rely on them, uh, you know, a lot to make plays. And, uh, you know, obviously, uh, it's, you know, it's you know, not how you draw it up. Uh, but, you know, luckily for Buckeye Nation, you'll get to see, you know, another year of Braxton. At 100%, uh, which will be exciting to watch, and you know, I'll be looking forward to watching that also. So. The popular thing right now for national pundits is uh, you guys are now sort of maybe not an afterthought, but you all lost a lot of credibility in the, in the national championship rates, et cetera. What, what is the feeling like on the team about what you all have lost and how you can recover from, uh, from this kind of situation? Well, you know, like I said, uh, you know, I don't think you could really – Honestly, in this situation, I don't know if you could pick anyone better to step in and, you know, you know, be the starting quarterback other than JT Barrett. Uh, you know, like I said, guys thought so highly of him and, you know, trusted him before this even happened. And, uh, you know, I saw a stat the other day that there's four national championship teams or something that, you know, won with a freshman quarterback in the last, you know, however long. Um, so, you know, I think, you know, I think that, you know, the offense will be probably a little bit different, uh, you know, with JT running it. But, uh, you know, like I said, we got playmakers and, you know, we got the coaching staff. We got the smartest coaching staff in the country. And, uh, you know, they're, they're going to put together, you know, great game plans week in and week out. And, uh, you know, we'll execute them. And uh, it'll be fun to watch. You know, JT, you know, it's a special year for him, you know, growing up a lot. And, uh, we'll, we're, you know, I'm looking forward to being a part of it and, you know, helping him out and mentoring him and kind of lead them through it. So, Jeff, because of, because